Hey, and welcome back to Valheim in the Man Cave. Day 12. I hope whatever boogeyman was outside last night is gone, because I really don't want to walk out my door and get assassinated. We've got the bees in behind the house, and we now have a piece of honey. I'm not going to eat it yet. I feel like I need to save my precious piece of honey and build up a bit, because once we get maybe, you know, five or six, that'll be enough, I think, that I could hopefully do the Ekthir battle, assuming we find it, which is the... See, what is that noise? What in God's name is out there? I'm freaking out here. Why is there something outside, like, trying to murder me through the wall? What the hell? Is it a boar in the water here somewhere? Is there some sort of demon? I don't know what the hell that is. The animals sometimes. Oh, see, there is. There's an angry-ass boar in my backyard. Damn it. What are you doing? What are you doing here, a-hole? You're probably making my knees not happy. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. Okay, check on the bees. How you doing, bees? Still happy. I don't know how long it takes you to make honey, but I hope to find some more. We can have a whole bunch of bees back here. I also want to extend this out soon because it's time to get our, our leather tanning rack thing. So we will do that pretty soon, but not yet. Not yet at all. So I'm 10 minutes rested. Let me just get re-rested. I don't know if I can get like a little more time on that. And then we're going to run off. We're going to run off to the other meadow the other day that we went to. Push a little further. See if we can figure out how this island wraps around. Am I going to re-up that or how's this work? Am I just being silly and wasting my time? Yeah, 11 minutes. Okay, that's what we're at. 11 minutes. Great. I should close the door. You never know. You never know. You might get visitors. Okay, we got a decent amount of torch. We got a backup torch. We're going to put away our weapon because I always forget. That's going to help me run a little faster and hopefully have a little more stamina. This is going to start being a fort soon. We really do need to get on that. If we manage to be lucky enough to defeat Ekthir, the minute that happens, we're going to start getting attacked by big baddies from the Black Forest. And our little fishing cabin is not going to handle it, I don't think. <clears throat> Okay, shortcut. There's our path. I gotta maybe continue this. You know, let's do it. Get this all joining up as we go. It's a bit ugly. Oh, signs! I totally forgot. All right, next time we're back at home, I gotta burn some food because I need to get some coal and make some signs. But now we know where we are. Okay, we're feeling better. Feeling good. Feeling brave. Put that away. One, two. R. Now I'm ready. So as soon as I see bad times, I hit R. Everything comes out. Wouldn't it be awesome to have a pickaxe and dig all the bones that are probably under the ground right there that I desperately need? That would be nice. Okay, so we come up here and then all the way across to the other tree line. We have a path through there from last time. It's quite possible that this is linked up with that other meadow that I saw from our last little excursion over by the spawn. The paths are really are coming in clutch because I don't have to think or worry. I just have to run, follow my path, and it'll all work out. We might as well keep working on our bow skill actually. You know, it's something we've been slacking a little bit maybe. Only bow hunting and not really using it for fighting. We're gonna need that for Ekthir too. Okay. Alright, what do we got happening out here? Oh my god, it is Ekthir spawn! Holy sh it. We missed that last time and it was right here. Friggin' yeah. Things are really working out right now. I hope I'm not in for some bad luck because things are looking up. Okay, we have a path to the freaking Ekthir thing. I saw that, that rune stone like the other day and I just got, I ran out, of, oh shit. Okay, that's just you can, I ran out of time so I didn't investigate any further. I just kind of assumed, okay, we'll be back. Okay. Jeez, it's a little far away though. It's got a, it's quite a run. I might need to see if I can figure out a more direct route. Awesome. So now what? We're basically, we're basically there. Let's explore a little bit about what's around here, but we're basically ready. We just need to get more honey. And if we could just get a few bones, that'd be really awesome. Cause then I'd be at least able to upgrade some of my armor. I mean, I doubt I'm going to get the whole set at this point, unless I want to just do a ton more running around looking for dolmens. And to be honest with you, I have no idea how rare they can be. Like, I found quite a few in my other playthrough there, but so far I think we've only found three at this one. I should probably consider building like an outpost over here, huh? Because I'm not going to want to have to run all the way over and not have a rested buff. I don't think it'd be wise to build it right beside Ekthir. Then he'd probably spawn and blow it up on me. If we get a bit of wood and stuff, maybe we can make a little house over here somewhere. A little si oh shit, look at that. That's a black forest. Okay, hopefully that's across the river. That's the same one we knew about. They do tell you that you should have a base near the black forest, because eventually that's where we're going to want to spend some time. But I don't know if I want one there now. Yeah, I guess we just have to hope that it is across the river and nothing's just going to wander over here. From what I understand, you can totally have out-of-biome creatures just by chance wander their way in. Uh, and that would not be good. That would not be good at all. Okay, I don't want to get lost either, but I do need to get some wood. 
I did kind of want to poke my head down here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's right there. Oh shoot. It's actually not on the other island anymore. I think that's a gray dwarf. Oh Christ. Oh boy. PTSD. Oh no. I don't, I don't like this now. What time is it? I don't want to be near here at night. That's for damn sure. I don't think we have a lot of time. Okay. Get some wood. We're going to build a little mini outpost. I hope this doesn't piss those guys off. I think he saw me. I think he's coming. I think he might know I'm here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I think that's a couple of them. Oh, oh boy. Run, 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 run. We don't want that. I don't know how far they'll chase me. How about we set up our Ekthir outpost on this side of the valley and not near those scary guys? How about that? Like down over here somewhere. Right near this little boar. Okay, I don't think they're gonna follow me, are they? Like, I know that sometimes these guys will follow you to the end of the freaking earth. Yeah, over here could be nice. Okay, I don't think anybody's following me at least. I don't know if like they're out of the draw distance and all of a sudden they're just gonna BAM pop in and come for me. But let's get let's get a little uh little outpost here. Just so that we have somewhere that I can always hunker down if I need to to get my rested buff up. I don't know. I I'm not sure if it's too close to the Ekthir fight and it's gonna get destroyed by like all this lightning and shit, but that could happen. Sorry, I'm getting a bit scared and nervous after that great orb sighting. <clears throat> not a lot of wood for my defenses. Some mistake walls. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Okay, well, enough's enough. We gotta get going, I think, anyway. Uh, but we have an outpost that we can use here now. That's so friggin' exciting, though. It's terrifying, but it's exciting because now we know where Ekthir is. If we go home and the bees are happy and they made some honey, we're not far off. I'm not too thrilled that it's that close to a dark forest. Or a black forest, sorry. Oh, I... Again, here I go. I'm not thrilled that it's that close because, I mean, if I have to kite Ekthir around a whole bunch and I draw in some baddies from that biome, I'm probably as good as dead, right? So we do not want that at all. So I think there's a way to do a shortcut, definitely, right? We started by following coastlines because that's what you got to do when you're not sure where you are, but I could definitely save time if I work up this way and cut across. In fact, honestly, my original path over here goes to that river if i can just get across that river if we could build a bridge or something eventually maybe i'd have a lot straighter of a line i think if i went right through here possibly right like there's my other path right uh, oops, maybe hmm. there's a pretty good chance that i could get there faster from the spawn outpost even if i figure out the the line i need to take across i think i could probably get there pretty quick We'll have to look into that, but there's just so much happening right now in my head. Like, I'm just, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, right? All right, so now that we know where Ekthir is, it's all the more important that maybe in the next episode or two we spend around here and we actually get this sorted out because we need to build this up. We really do need to get this defensible stake wall, the whole nine yards. I can't do a moat yet. Right in the butt. Lots of leather. Of course, the bones. You know, I don't know why I can't harvest the goddamn bones from the deer. Probably as many bones in a deer as there are in a human if not more. Meanwhile, I can't make use of all that. That would be too easy. Valheim's not a game about being easy. Okay, bees, did you make something? Oh, you did. I got some honey. My first harvest. I don't know how long it takes them, but that wasn't too bad. Okay, that's going to up our comfort by one. One more comfort. Uh, yeah, so let's recap for a second. We have bees. We only have one, and it's not producing a ton, but we have two pieces of honey, and I I, I figure maybe like four pieces of honey is, is going to be enough maybe for the battle. We know where it is. It's a little uncomfortably close to a, a black forest over there, but, you know, hopefully I can draw them towards the meadow side if I need to. So the next thing I think we need to do is start our fort, because as soon as we kill him, the raid could honestly happen, I think, any time, and we would not be prepared for that. We got to go over there as well and update our outpost a bit so that we can at least re-rest and stuff if need be while we're over there working. Uh, I gotta think of a little bit more of a direct route to get there, I think, because I don't want to run out of my rested buff, and I can't spend like five minutes just running there. And then I guess, yeah, after the fortifications are built, we'll build a whole bunch of fire arrows, we'll upgrade all our weapons and tools and put our bow and everything to the max we can. If we're lucky by some chance we find two more bones, we'll upgrade at least one piece of armor, but I'm not so sure we're gonna find that. So we're gonna have to probably fight them with just level one armor, and I think, yeah, it's pretty much gonna be the plan. I gotta check my skills. Let's see. Bows are only a 10. Maybe we gotta use the bow a little more. I've been sort of preferencing the club, but the bow's actually gonna be more important sooner. So while we're out doing all this upgrading and work, I'm gonna just shoot everything I see, I guess. I got 50 arrows there, so if I just keep shooting stuff and maybe get a few more levels to my bow skill, then I'll be able to at least, I don't know, get a point or two of damage. I don't know if I should start working the spear a bit more. I, I have no idea. I mean, I don't plan on getting close to Ekthir, really, if I don't have to, so it's just going to be bows and hiding in the forest. I suppose we'll have our club just in case, because it is our best weapon at this point, probably. But anyway, so that's, that's the end of the 
another successful day. I'm happy. We got two really successful days. Three in a row, actually. So this is great. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I guess we'll see you next time. Bye for now.